Don't look. Don't look. Why are you looking? Stop looking. Oh, it's dirty. It's so dirty. We're going to fix that today. So good morning, everyone. Got my load of lumber here. Pick them up here in Saskatchewan. I'm in Davidson, Saskatchewan at the Esso. There's also a Timmy's over there that is uh, relevant to relevant information to relay to you. There's a Timmy's here and I have a Timmy's in my truck. I'm very excited. I want to get on the road. Let's get out there. Let's go find a truck wash. And I've got to find hub covers. I got new steers put on here the other day. And I lost my hub covers. All good. It's starting to feel a lot like Christmas. Woo! It's cold. It's cold. I know you always you always need proof that I'm not lying to you, right? Here's my chimmies. I don't know why I always gotta prove things to you. None of you trust me. I know, but that's, that's the world we live in. I got lumber on my trailer. I'm gonna have Timmy's in my belly right away. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get out there. All right, this truck is cleared. It's ready. Ready to roll. Everything is as it should be. Everything's looking good. Everything's working. All I'm gonna do now, or all I have left to do now, is roll forward and check my trailer brakes, that they engage, that they release, and that my trailer pin won't leave my truck. So that it will come with me. I looked at it, it looks locked. I always double check anyway in the morning. You never know, you never know. Evil people exist in this world as we have all, as we all know. And sometimes I've heard stories of people pulling guys fifth wheel pins or something, messing with their trucks. Never do that, okay? But always take precaution just in case. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll forward. Oh, pretty good speed. And spike the brakes. So the brakes definitely work. Trailer's definitely attached. Release the brakes, start rolling forward. All wheels are turning. There you go. Inspection complete. I certify this truck for use on the highway. I've already written my whole report in here already because I did already check the fifth wheel. That tug test is just my extra thing before I leave. Just a double, triple, quadruple check. gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a bit of a long day, especially since I want to stop in Minot for that truck wash at the Blue Beacon. I also would like to stop and wash myself, have a, sh have a shower there. I've got to figure out where the best place to fuel will be and hopefully wherever I fuel I can get a shower. I'm thinking I might be fueling at Schatz again. I actually haven't done that research yet because I just fueled yesterday and I still have above three quarter tanks. So I'm not really, uh, you know, I'll probably make it all the way down to Detroit Lakes. I might not even need to fuel up, which means I'd have to pay for a shower. Because huh, if you fuel at Shats or you fuel at Flying J, uh, you get a free shower with your fuel, right? That's what I like to do. That's why I pay for it. If you can get it for free, you got to buy fuel anyway. I think you got to buy a minimum of like 50 gallons or like 300 liters or something like that. Oh, that's beautiful, Peterbilt. Nice. I like your Peter. Oh, another one. Another one. Two nice Peters in a row. My lucky day. You get the wave of respect. Not everybody gets that. Not everybody gets that. that away south towards the United States of America crossing from North Portal Saskatchewan into Portal North Dakota in a few hours oh boy this is gonna be fun to get across this Look at that. Oh, yep, yep, yep. all right 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I could've gone, could've gone, could've gone. I am way too nice. I should've gone, I should've gone, I should've gone. No, I'm too nice. I have this thing about life. I don't want to die. So I'll give this guy some time. There we go. Oh, I'm letting you come, bud. Okay. He's gonna let me come. I saw him coming there. That's why I was veering off to the right to give him room to get around me. But he decided he wanted me to go first, so I didn't want to sit there and be like, no, I insist you first. Then he'd be like, no, I insist you first. And then meanwhile, we're there blocking traffic. All right. Let's get ourselves up to cruising speed here and enjoy our Timmy's, how about that? these Firestone steers right and so far I'm really liking them I'm kind of sad that I lost my hubs over the deal I'm gonna have to buy new hub covers and not, not the actual hubs the hub covers those are like 15 bucks each I gotta replace those now that's the price of getting new steers I guess <laughs> but so far yeah I mean uh, there's their tires they're round they're balanced they're rolly they're everything I'd want in a tire I don't know what else to tell you, I mean, they're doing good. They're doing tire things. Get how to 
get into this truck wash. I'm pretty sure I gotta come from here. Nope. Oh wait, all the way over here. Okay, at the bingo sign. The bingo sign, that's where you gotta go. There's a little sign here, it's not lit up yet. Take the entrance to the ride on US 52 East. Oh, the truck wash lineup is all the way back here. Oh no. Proceed to the highlighted route. No, no, no. No, then I'm not going in there. Oh man, I was looking forward to this truck wash for days. I don't got that much time. Just gonna do a quick little drive past here. I'm gonna look off to the left to see if. Oh, no kidding. No. There's about 10 to 15 trucks in line, and only one wash bay. I don't got that kind of time. Shoot. Okay, maybe we'll go to Fargo. You know what? That's a better idea anyway, because Fargo's got cheaper prices. They uh, mark up the prices here. I didn't even think of that. You know, it's a good thing they're busy, otherwise I would have spent more money. Blue Beacon in Fargo is cheaper than Blue Beacon in Minot. What was I thinking? Of course. Okay, let's grab some fuel. Let's park, I'll go grab a shower. And then we'll go to Blue Beacon in Fargo. We'll get a wash there. Oh, I totally slipped my mind. I, didn't, I don't have to wash the truck here. For whatever reason, when you get around to the other side of Blue Beacon, right before you get into the wash, before you can, like, after you, you're in there, point of no return, then they have a little sign hanging beside the door saying that prices are higher here. For whatever reason. fuel receipt and my Walmart bag full of my shower stuff classy nothing but class I'm gonna go inside and clean ourselves up space but I don't know my stuff I'm going for. We're all cleaned up. Next stop is Fargo, North Dakota. Blue Beacon. Hopefully there's no lineup. We'll see. If the lineup's really long I'm gonna have to pass but there is two bays there. There's a higher chance that we should be able to get in right away. Minnesota border, also home to the Fargo Blue Beacon. And I can see the lineup from the road here already. And there's only one truck in the line with two bays. So definitely a good call to come here. Truck wash is long overdue for old Blue. I don't think I'm going to sleep here either. I want to get 
into Minnesota, just a little way. Two hundred meters, turn right on Forty Ninth Street oh, South. Oh, Karen, you're drunk. Go home. I'm gonna get a truck wash. I'm not going that way. excited to get this truck washed. I really hope that it doesn't like rain and snow or something tomorrow. Oh, it's probably gonna do that. That's what always happens, right? Oh, now there's two trucks in line. Oh, man. That guy wasn't there before. See, there's the highway just in front of us there. I could see the entrance to the truck wash from the highway and there was only one truck in line when I exited. two bays, so I don't know why this guy's not lining up at the next bay. Is there another truck there or what? Oh, they closed that bay. Oh man, that's why. So just got one bay open. Alright. So now we just got this one tanker yanker in front of me and one in the wash bay. That's not too bad. We'll be out of here in no time. Much better than the 10 to 15 trucks I'd have to wait behind in Minot. Yeah. Eh, whatever, I got time on my clock yet. I don't have too much more time to drive, but now I'll be able to get into Minnesota from here and maybe stop at a rest area or maybe in Rothsay, Minnesota at the truck stop there or Fergus Falls at the big chief truck stop. Well, we'll find something. Something will, something will come up. <laughs> 